Well, greetings and hello there, everybody. It's me, your beloved Star Wars dad, Nooch Too Good. You know, last week we talked about my 10 favorite teams, and back over here again is your Star Wars dad playing with his toys. Because what else is Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes other than us playing with our toys? When I was a kid, I collected the action figures, the original Kenner action figures. That's right. Were they Kenner? Were they? I think they were Kenner. Well, it's been a long time. I'm pretty sure they were Kenner. Anyway, um, back in the day, man, back in, I'm talking 1977, I was out there buying toys with my hard-earned cash that I had saved up. My mom had to take me out. I bought my Darth Vader and my C-3PO action figures. Those were my first two action figures I ever purchased in my life. There's me playing with Sabine. I'm not sure this bit is as good as the last one, but I will play the bit after the credits today. If you want to hang around and watch out for that, let's, uh, let's get rid of that. Let's talk about my 10 favorite characters <laughs> I, I I like Mace Windu I really do I think he's a great character all I'm saying is by the way he's not in the top 10 I, 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 I all I'm saying is you don't have to relic Mace Windu you don't have to go get him he's not needed until you go get Jedi Master Kenobi that's all I'm saying anyway all right my 10 favorite characters coming in at number 10 I guess kind of number 10 it's hard to rank him Hermit Yoda is one of my new most favorite characters. I just unlocked Jedi Master Luke a few months ago on my new 2 Lightspeed account. I hadn't played with Jedi Master Luke in a long time. And what I really, really enjoy, and I have found I enjoy, is calling in Hermit Yoda on the Inherited Teachings Assist. I had no idea he would do as much damage as he did, and I haven't done it yet here, obviously. I Because all I'm, I'm focused on, on, on Luke here, getting him. And I've always done the Jedi Knight Luke, and I think Jedi Knight Luke is a better choice. He does more damage. But I was not aware that Hermit Yoda would do as much damage as he did on, on an Inherited Teachings. And I know I'm going to call him in here at some point, um, but it's become a new favorite of mine. And it just it's just it's such a pleasure for Hermit Yoda to come in with no work done. And uh, there we go. Let's call him Hermit Yoda. Bam! Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I don't think... One of the few pleasures I get in the game, or one of the many pleasures I get in the game right now, is calling in Hermit Yoda with Jedi Master Luke's inherited teaching and just smacking my enemies. So Hermit Yoda comes in at number 10, although this isn't really a solid ranking bottom to top, but yeah, I love Hermit Yoda. Hey, by the way, I guess I should go into a little more uh, explanation here, but you know, I, last week was my top 10 favorite teams. This week is my top 10 favorite characters. I just always get these questions. I get these questions. Who's your favorite team? Who's your favorite character in Galaxy Heroes? So I figured I'd put out these videos so I can just direct people to there. You know, I, I, I literally get this question probably two or three times on every stream. So these videos are made to direct you to. I can just say, hey, go look at the video. There's a whole video about it. Go watch it. But hey, my next favorite character is a ship. It is the TIE Silencer. Kylo Ren's TIE Silencer. We talked about the finalizer last time. It is all driven by the damage that the silencer does. And I love playing with the TIE Silencer. If there's one ship that I really, really, really enjoy and really love in the game. I love ramping up the damage where he's doing 200, 300, 400,000 damage. It is it is one of my favorite things to do, absolute favorite things to do in this game is, is not only countering the executor with the finalizer, but bringing in the finalizer and just stacking up that damage. Let's, let's shoot up to the end here, if I can get my cursor here. Let's see what we can see the finalizer doing at the end of this battle here. Um, hold on, I'm going to watch it, because it's just so... I, I just can't think of a lot of things that are more fun than stacking up the finalizer to some gigantic blast of, of energy and damage. I love doing that. Let's see this one right here. 262,000 on the Slave 1. Let's let's call in uh, the... Sl the uh, there you go. 86,000 on a basic. Just, just as regular... 121,000 on a basic right there. I mean, I just love ramping up. The, there's nothing I love in the game more than doing damage. I'm a damage kind of guy. Um, tanking is fun. Supporting is fun. All that stuff is fun. I love it when things do damage. And Kylo Ren's TIE Silencer is the ultimate damage dealer. I want to finish this off here with Kylo Ren. Doug, come on. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. All right, Kylo, let's do this right now. 269,000. That's just an average hit. That's like an average late battle hit from the TIE Silencer. So TIE Silencer comes in next on my list. I love playing with it. Hey, and speaking of Kylo Ren, how about dear old dad Han Solo? I love Han Solo. I love that he shoots first. I love that he does a ton of damage. I love that he really drives the damage on this team. I love that he stuns with his second. I love that he removes Termeter. I just, 
I really love everything about Han Solo in this game. And I love that there are 25 variants of Han Solo in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. I really, if I could play with more Han Solo, I would, although only really one of his characters is any. Let me see here. Han Solo, then Captain Han Solo is kind of meh. Uh, veteran Smuggler Han Solo is meh. Uh, young Han Solo is meh. Is there another Han Solo? I feel like there's another Han Solo that I'm missing. Veteran Smuggler. Oh, Stormtrooper Han Solo. I mean, he's kind of fun, but kind of meh at the same. So yeah, they've only really got one version that's workable of Han Solo in the game. I just love him. You know, I've come up with Han Solo and if you're in the right situation, later in the battle or with a Datacron, you're popping, you're like one-shotting, you know, certain characters in this game with Han. I, I really love what he does. I love, he might die here. Is Han Solo going to make it? Please, Han, survive. Anyway, I'm going to bring in Han Solo on this list because I just love what he does in the game. I love that he shoots first, and I love that everything he does, I love that, I love that every every Han Solo version of the game, when he shoots, his other arm goes out like this. I just think that's great. I love playing with Han Solo in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Now, how about we bring in a Phoenix in here, and of course, we know Captain Rex drives the team, but I love playing with Sabine Wren. I, I, I have enjoyed Sabine Wren's kit from the very first day, day I got it. I love this specifically this uh, launching the uh, demolish. Deal physical damage to all enemies. Stagger them for two turns. Expose them for two turns. For each active Mando and Phoenix, deal 15% more damage and expose a random enemy. So we're exposing everybody. You're expo you can get multiple exposes on one character. Mandalorian Phoenix always getting critical chance up and offense up. If it scores a critical hit, you reduce her cooldowns. I love her. She was one of the first characters, if not the first character, to apply armor shred. And uh, whatever. I just, I love Sabine Wren's kit. I've always loved it. And now that Captain Rex is in the game, I'm so happy that I get to use this kit now. It's been years. It has been years since I used. There we go. Let's drop it right there. Demolish everybody. Get all those staggers out there. What am I waiting for? Drop it. I love. And and by the way, Gerbil told me I need to get Sabine faster than Rex so that she drops all of her staggers out there. He does the AOE or moves all the turn meter. I get it. I probably need to do that. I haven't done it yet. I, I I have always loved Sabine's Ren kit, and I've always been excited about the Phoenix. You know, back in my original account, back in the day, we're talking when the game first came out, when when there was a lag in the game at one point, um, I reliced up all my Phoenix, and I were, first I zaded all my Phoenix, then I reliced them later when Relics came out. I have always loved the Phoenix, and I'm so glad that they're useful now in the game, but for me, Sabine Ren's kit, with especially with the staggers, you put those staggers out there in the exposes, it dri there it is again, bam! It drives so much of the damage and the work that this team is able to do by getting everybody staggered, taking me all their turn meter, getting, just exposing them for so much damage. I love Sabine Wren. I've always enjoyed playing with her character in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Darth Nihilus' fun level is off the charts. Since he came out at near the beginning of the game, you know, Darth Nihilus was part of an early meta with the General Kenobi lead where he just couldn't kill the guy. He would annihilate the entire other team in squad arena. I love playing with Darth Nihilus. Here we're going to see him defeat Darth Malgus, which is awesome with that Treya in there. Whether he's playing under a Treya lead in Grand Arena or he's playing just with Treya, boom, Darth Malgus gone. There is something that is extremely satisfying about annihilating your opponent and knocking them down to absolutely nothing with one shot. Just completely annihilate you know the same thing i like mando um you know there's other characters as well i love playing with darth milas he makes this game so much fun and he has since the very beginning when he first came out so you know and, and by the way I, this is a kind of i'm just kind of discovering now i don't know why i left it out there because malgus is always a problem for me but this darth nihilus counter can really work against the right malgus team so i love annihilating people i think i'm gonna get can i do one more annihilation here let's see if i get to do it here shortly but there's nothing more fun than bringing out Darth Nihilus and just blowing somebody away. It's And it's such a quick shot, right? It, and it's been there since the very beginning of the game. I think I'm going to... Do I get to... There we go. Just a quick annihilate. One more annihilate to wrap up the battle. Uh, he's just so much fun to play with. He's so much fun to get to get loaded up, especially with Trey out there with her Gak Omicron. Below 90% health. Boom. Annihilate. Move on to the next character. Hey, by the way, did you know that Mon Mothma requires 500 Kyrotex? She is actually... The highest Kyrotech requirement of any non-Galactic Legend in the game. In fact, I think she actually requires more Kyrotechs than some of the Galactic Legends. Possibly, I haven't looked it up, but... Uh, and are you aware that my son... <laughs> <laughs> 
that my son, when I just gave him the computer one day, uh, relic my Mon Mothma. Spent 500 Kyrotex, uh, relic and Mon Mothma on my account because you guys all encouraged him to. So, I was gonna say Mon Mothma, but I can't really bring my... <laughs> I just figured we'd get both of our memes in here with Mace Windu and Mon Mothma into one video. Let's watch, uh, Nooch Jr. finish... Uh, I think we can actually turn the sound up here where he's giggling. Uh, yeah, so we got a few more gear levels to go. He's just gonna keep going. Yes, thank you, Nooch Jr. for, uh, relicking Mon Mothma. Actually, I don't think I have the sound up here at all. But, uh... Yeah, so there you go, Mon Mothma, uh, not on the list of my favorite characters, but probably one of my favorite moments on the channel when my son <laughs> actually relicked Mon Mothma when I was, uh, I, was take, I just had to take a little bio break, that's what I get for taking a bathroom break and leaving, this, leaving the boy in charge of the computer, and boom, there it is. So thanks to all of you, you're all wonderful people, I don't care what Newt Jr. says about you. <laughs> Let's get to my next favorite here. Coming in next is Geo Spy's ship. Now, I love Geo Spy as much as the next guy. You know, yeeting your enemies. I, he's, a, he's a great character to come in. Everybody's got a lot of buffs, debuffs. He comes and just blows them away. But, but, to me, there's something very fun and very special. And, and I just, when I can bring Spy in as a reinforcement, Put a taunt out there on a separate target and really just do some awesome damage in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Spy is such a huge difference maker to me. I think he's going to make this bad. I think he's going to clean this battle up. I might be wrong. Maybe I just maybe I should have looked closer. Yeah, so Spy is at... Watch this battle. Watch this battle. Spy is going to come in here and just, just change the course of the battle right now. I'm taking a beating at the moment. But here comes Spy... And there goes, oh my goodness, that was like eight dodges. Holy cow, I'm screaming. I'm screaming right down there. Anywho, I love bringing in Spy. I love what he does for my Malevolence fleet. And I love the... Come now, that didn't really work very well. <laughs> I picked a great example here. But there's something very, very special to me about that. Everybody does there too. They're all just dodging the whole time here. But Spy, even just coming in and assisting on basics and everything... Spy is so dangerous and so amazing. I've only got a gear 12 spy, and he will one-shot ships. He just does so much damage and so many great things for my fleet. I love Geo Spy's ship, I, and I, I again, I also love Geo Spy in general. I just don't get to use him very often anymore. You know, he's not really prevalent on my rosters now that I'm in Kyber. Okay, the occasional cleanup with my gear 12 Geos, but they're not coming out there very often um, in the game at the moment. So. Love bringing out Spy, love watching him turn the tide of the battle and wrap things up, even if it's kind of super messy and super unclean. Hey, we got four characters left, and coming in at number four is going to be Commander Ahsoka. She is just a blast. Put her out there with any Galactic Republic or Scoundrel unaligned for light side unaligned force user, and she turns him into just a wrecking machine. In addition to her, you know, I said I like to annihilate earlier. I like her instant defeat also. You can see me here mirroring Jedi Master Kenobi, in which case you always save it so you can knock out the opponent, Cat, with that instant defeat. Cat is so much fun. She makes Jedi Master Kenobi viable. It's a little disappointing that a Galactic Legend isn't really super viable without another character in there, but it is what it is, especially it's, it's especially disappointing since Jedi Master Kenobi and Commander Ahsoka don't really go together. It's like the Maul and Lord Vader don't really go together. But, um, you know... I love Commander Ahsoka in this game, whether she's with whether she's with Kenobi or whether I've got her, you know, in, on other accounts. I mean, I definitely have put her with Rey before. She makes Rey a monster in this game when you put her with that online force user. Let's watch her instant defeat the opposite cat here in a moment. I just love playing with her. She's a lot of fun. And those instant defeats, anytime you got an instant defeat, you got something fun on your hands, and kaboom, there you go. And now the battle's over. Pretty much it's just an auto from here to make things happen. So Commander Ahsoka... Number four on the list. When I think of my favorite characters in the game, it is impossible for me to get around Dark Trooper. I, you guys know, I have Relic Dark Trooper on my accounts. I love, I just, I just love bringing the guy in here. I love, you know, Piet going with the basic and Dark Trooper attacks once, twice, three times. And I, he just does so, I told you guys, I love damage. I love offense, I love crushing things, I love blowing things away, I'm a, I'm a pretty straightforward kind of guy, and there you see Dark Trooper, four or five hits, right through Bosk, no problem, this is an automatic every time you do it, but now we're going to go right through Embo with Dark Trooper, hit him again, goodbye Embo, thank you so much, and of course, this might be one shot on IG, it's no, it's going to be two shots, darn it, 
I, I can't get around it. I, I, if you want to pick one character that I love to play with maybe more than anybody else, it is Dark Trooper. Dark Trooper coming out there with the pneumatic punch, eliminating enemies, cleaning up Galactic Legends, doing so many amazing things with that pneumatic punch. I love Dark Trooper. I just love the guy. All right, let's have some fun. I've got some old footage here. This is old stuff of my Qui-Gon Jinn Omicron when I very first got it. I mean, I am. this is back at Christmas, I think, like almost over two years ago. So 2020, 2022 Christmas. I... The, Blasting people, <laughs> there I did it too soon. There I did it too soon. Blasting people with Anakin, it, there's not a lot for me that's more special in this game than using Jedi Knight Anakin with the here go, bam, they're all dead. <laughs> that was a fast one. Let's, should we watch it again? Should we watch that again? I just think we gotta watch that all over again. Um, you know, I, nuking people with Jedi Knight Anakin's, it, it, I, I just, I, I have so much fun with the Jedi Knight Anakin nuke with, with the Qui-Gon Omicron. I've hit so many teams with it, and I, and, and it's, it seems to be like a different team. Every time I play, here's a basic. Just take out Ma uh, Malak with like 70% health. Boom, they're, they're all dead. I, I can't tell you how much fun this has been for me since it came out. It is one of the most fun, maybe the most fun Omicron in the game. I told you I loved that team last time. This time I'll just tell you that maybe I should bring this intro back here. Look at that. Um, you know, I, uh, I really love Jedi Knight Anakin and, and using him on that Qui-Gon Omicron team. It's just so much fun. I don't think I can express how much fun I have using that. Every time I do it and it blows somebody away, it's a blast. And finally, at the top of our list for my favorite characters in Star Wars, my 10 favorite characters in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, I cannot express still three, four years after his release how much pleasure I gain playing with Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. I mentioned the TIE Silencer earlier. It's stacking damage. There is no better stacker. There is no better stacker, siphoner, puller of other people's stuff. There is no better damage dealer, no more fun character for me in this game than Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Without Datacrons applied or with the wrong, with, without the you know perfect Datacrons applied, I beat Jabba with him. I beat Lord Vader with him. I love playing with Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. I love siphoning. I love building up a siphon. I love stacking with it. I love using him in territory battles. I love using him in territory wars. I love using, I used to love using him in the heroic Sith Raid. I was trying to find some footage of an old heroic Sith Raid, but I could not find anything that was really, you know, worth putting out here. Man, back in the Rogue Sith Raid, you would get in with like a thousand Siphon and you'd go after Treya and it was the most fun thing you ever did in your whole life. I just don't think there's anything more fun in this game than siphoning with Supreme Leader Kylo Ren and really making him hum and do so much. I mean, look at that. He just one-shotted Darth Vader right there. And that's with Darth Vader having all his protection converted. I mean... He's just gonna, I mean, he just blows through other teams when you get him stacked up with enough siphon and then protects himself. Who cares about the rest of the team? That's not the important thing with Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. It's all about Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. He's Solo's Sith Eternal Emperor. He's Solo's Grease. Solo's every, pretty much everybody at this point. I love, love, love playing the game with Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. He's my favorite character in this game. It's not even really close. I don't have anybody that's comparable to him. Whenever I can use Supreme Leader Kylo Ren to go out there and have some fun, I'm very excited about it. It's an opportunity for me to have a blast playing the game. Let's watch the rest of this battle play out because he's going to beat Lord Vader. He's going to siphon, siphon, siphon until this is over. He's going to be gaining you know, protection back when he doesn't have the heal block on there. And it makes you a little nervous along the way because you feel like Lord Vader's going to come out and do something, but he's not. He's not. Kylo's going to take him down because the grandson is greater than the grandfather in this case. I I, I just love him. I, I can't say enough. Let's watch him finish off Lord Vader. Is it right here? Not quite. Not even really close right there. But we're going to get it. We're siphoning what? We're siphoning 240 right now. If we ever get an ultimate back, which we're not going to need the ultimate because there goes Lord Vader. I love playing with Spring Leader Kylo Ren. There's nothing better. Stay tuned to watch. You know, I'm going to show the Sabine Wren minifigure stuff here. It's not as good as the previous one, I don't think. But if you want to watch me play with my toys and hear a little muffled audio, tune in after the credits for that. These are my top 10 characters in Star Wars Galaxy Heroes. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Always remember, 
Nooch too good. I am Sabine Wren, and the only thing I want in the entire galaxy is to find Ezra. Ezra, I love you. Oh, wait. No, Ezra, we're just tight friends. We're like a brother and sister. I would sacrifice the entire galaxy to find you, Ezra, to find you. Hello. Who are you? What are you doing here? I am Sabine Wren. I am Kylo Wren. Oh. <gasps> Are. Are you my long lost father? Well, you're roughly my age. I maybe a little bit, I don't think we're I don't think we're related like that, uh, but hey, uh I think I'm gonna stab you now because that's what I do is I I stab people. You can stab me all day. I'll be fine. You will? Yes, watch. <laughs> uh, oh, it hurts. It hurts. Ha ah, ha Kylo Red checking out. Uh, it hurts. No, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm Sabine Wren. I am Sabine Wren. I wish I had an Ahsoka minifigure, but she's not here. She's somewhere else with her arms crossed, even today. Standing still, saying nothing, with her arms crossed, or perhaps flipping in space. I am Sabine Wren. I will sacrifice the entire galaxy to find Ezra. Ezra. Oh! Ezra! Ezra, it's you! I found you! Yes, it's me, Ezra. Yes, I found you! The thing I sacrificed my entire life to find is you, Ezra. Yes, Sabine, I am here. Isn't this great? I'm gonna act very cool. Oh, great! I found you! Now what do we do? Well, you better not, like, kiss or anything. But I'm going to stab you. <laughs> Why have you stabbed me, Ezra? I don't know. That's okay. I'm fine. <laughs> this bit is not as good as the previous one. I feel like the last bit was better. But anyway, you get the idea. Anyway, <clears throat> I got knocked knock the mice. It's hard with the minifigures. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>